as a writer, I've been uh, changing all my life, really. And the main rule that I have is to write about what I'm obsessed with and what I'm passionate about. The last few years, I've focused a lot on Christian fiction, writing two books about the life of Christ that I wanted to be really biblically correct and yet very vital, palpable fiction. And that was a great, great experience for me. That was perhaps the most joyful experience I've ever had with writing. I also wrote a nonfiction memoir, and I'm not a natural nonfiction writer. I'm just not that good at that, and that was kind of an agony. Um, right now, I'm writing a book um, that is actually speculative fiction. It's fantasy. It's about uh, the legend of Atlantis, ancient Atlantis, survivors of Atlantis, and I've decided to write this for fun. Um, I need this. I need to lighten up and do something purely for fun, and I trust that when you write for fun, uh, you don't lose anything profound. You, 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 you keep all your deep concerns. You keep your deep meanings. You keep your optimism as, as a God-fearer or a believer in God. You keep all those things. And your ultimate writing will reflect all the themes that are important to you. But writing for fun is just like a mode. It's a mode of operation. It's, it's perhaps like playing ragtime, say, instead of playing um, a cantata. And that's what I'm doing right now. And again, I need this. I've published over 30 books, and I've approached all kinds of different books in different ways. And a number of times I've written something just for fun, and I don't think my readers would necessarily be able to pick out those books from the others that I've written. So I'm ready to answer any questions you have about my experience or about writing in general. One of the first things I want to tell you is that there are no rules for writers. You really are in charge. And that means if, if you don't like what I say about writing, totally disregard it. There is just no way for anybody to tell a writer what to do or how to be a writer. Our field, uh, writing, uh, we are the anarchists and libertarians of the art world. We don't have a communal apprenticeship like, say, a violinist would have or a ballet dancer or an opera singer. Uh, we do it on our own, and we pick and choose from a whole universe of writers that have come before us and we choose what works and we reject what doesn't work. And I think to be a writer, you have to be very courageous. You have to believe in your own voice, your own characters, your own vision. And you have to be willing to reject any criticism you get that doesn't help you or work for you. And you're going to get a lot of it. Uh, and you have to be willing to throw it out.